Hey everyone, turkey season is officially here, and that means that we have the opportunity to get out and call in some turkeys. No matter what level you are with turkey calling, from the most beginner to the most advanced, we all want to have a fun and successful turkey hunt this season. Selecting the right combination of calls to take turkey hunting is going to vary based on the level of your experience using turkey calls to the type of hunt that you're going to be doing for turkeys. As with all calling, turkeys are going to respond to the emotion that you put into your calling. The sounds that you make are important and having the ability to make varying sounds with multiple tools will increase your odds of success. Today, I'm going to briefly go over a few of my favorite turkey calls from Rocky Mountain Hunting Calls. Let's first talk about locating turkeys. Locator calls are used specifically to locate toms. Some people call this shot gobbling. A locator call, like a crow call, will help you to locate where a tom is at, whether it's on the roost or feeding in the timber, so that you can plan an approach. Rocky Mountain Hunting Calls Atomic 13 Crow Call is extremely easy to use for anyone and it will help you in assisting to locate those toms. Now moving on to making turkey sounds, the strutter box is in my opinion the easiest and definitely one of the most effective turkey calls that anyone of any experience level can successfully use. These calls project the sound far into the woods which I find really effective when a tom has a good bit of distance to come into my setup. Friction pot calls are another type of call and these will vary in construction from a traditional ceramic pot like found in the Strike a Strut, aluminum pots like found in the Atomic 13 Dirty Trick, and a glass over slate surface like found in the Hoax. Because of their differences in construction, each one of these friction pot calls will make a slightly different sound. So for me, that means if I'm working a tom and he's not coming into the sounds that I'm making with my ceramic strike a strut, I might grab a hold of my aluminum dirty trick or the hoax to see if he prefers that sound. These calls will make a variety of sounds that'll go from really nice purrs to raspy yelps. Now pot calls can be a little more challenging to use and I have found that each call has this like sweet spot where the tone is just perfect. So you're gonna to wanna to spend some time with your pot call and try varying angles with your striker to locate where that sweet spot is in your call. And because the call is friction based, you might need to take a piece of scotch guard and rough up the surface of the call to really perfect the sounds coming out of it. And the last consideration is that you're gonna to wanna to keep the pot call dry and free of any oils that may prevent friction. So be careful not to touch the surface of the pot call. Last, let's talk about mouth diaphragms. Mouth diaphragms really rule the world of turkey hunting. They're really expensive to purchase, but they're also the most difficult to learn to use. The big win for mouth calls is that it allows you to keep your hands free so that you can focus on your shotgun bead or go to full draw while coaxing that tom in. Rocky Mountain Hunting Calls has a variety of diaphragm turkey calls in their lineup. I personally prefer the Captain Hook because it has a pallet plate, making it feel and fit a lot more like a traditional elk diaphragm. The remaining turkey calls are a stretch latex that vary in stretch and latex thickness, so they have an extreme versatility of sounds that they're gonna make for the most advanced user. Now, regardless of what type of calls you guys end up taking on your turkey hunt this season, all of us here at Rocky Mountain Hunting Calls are wishing you good hunting. If you want to learn more, go to buglingbull.com.